So I know you're all thinking at this point, you're thinking this guy's pretty fucking miserable for someone who could quite clearly have a flourishing career as a model. But, <laughs> but there's a reason to my misery, there's a reason. I'm going to talk, talk to you about it tonight if that's okay. Um, it's actually quite a delicate situation I've got here, so I, I want to try and put this in the most, um, in the most romantic way possible. You see, most guys have a train. And that train goes into the tunnel. You with me? <laughs> it's just that my train has a type 4 skin. <laughs> Bear with me. Which means that when it goes into the tunnel, it feels like my penis is losing a tug of war against a band of angry Cossacks. <laughs> What I'm basically trying to tell you is I suffer from a condition called phimosis, which means that having sex hurts me. And I know what you're all thinking. The women are thinking, oh, that's quite sweet. Oh, we can come on stage and talk about that and maybe see through his problem. And the guys are thinking, fucking hell. <laughs> He's a modern elephant man, Frank. Can I catch this? Don't worry, lads, you can't catch it. Yet. I couldn't help but think about how much sex really dominates our society. You know, right down to our language. I mean, there's that old phrase, better than sex, you know. Which, of course, I can never use. Because, for me, being better than sex means being better than having your balls ripped out by, by a rabid wolverine. So the vast majority of things I do in my day-to-day -day life are better than sex. <laughs> How's that potato waffle, Sean? Better than sex. <laughs> kind of nice you stabbed yourself in the eye with a pencil there. How's that going for you? Ah, better than sex. <laughs> How about that Phil Collins album I let you? Significantly worse than sex. <laughs> so I went to the doctor and um, emerged I was going to have to be circumcised. And, uh, you know, I, I made a joke about that. I joke a lot to hide the fact that I'm dead inside. And, <laughs> and as I was leaving, he said to me, You've got a great spirit, Mr. McLaughlin. And I said, Yes, but I'd rather have a great cock. 